from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. After a very warm and wet April, May started off on a very warm and for some wet note with those late afternoon thunderstorms that were kind of focused right along the Ohio River. Tomorrow will be a quieter day, but by this time tomorrow night, the leading edge of that more significant rain will begin to push into the area. But a warm start to May. 57 the low, 85 the high, that's 12 above normal, and 5 shy of the record set back in 1951. Most of the area in the mid-80s this afternoon, disregard the 66 you see around Henderson. They've had issues with the thermometer out at the airport there. Hopefully that will get fixed for tomorrow. Just lots of false returns around the radar site, but some storms rumbling along the Mississippi River. Those are shooting to the northeast and should just miss our northwestern counties. But the last of the showers that kind of moved east of the metro uh, this evening have now faded away and we should be quiet until probably this time tomorrow night. But you can see where the significant rain fell today. There wasn't a lot of it, but there was a band developing from about Shawneetown across northern Union, northern Henderson, southeastern Warwick into southern Spencer counties, just missing Evansville. We had a couple of smaller cells in Evansville that did produce some heavier downpours, a little bit of lightning, but the very heaviest rain was in the northeast corner of Henderson County and then across the river into Yankeetown, eastward along Highway 66 through Sand Ridge, and Rio, where our system estimated over an inch of rain fell very late this afternoon, along with some small hail. Here's a day playing out on the Evansville Riverfront. We had a mix of sun and clouds for most of the day, and then those storms fired up. You can see them passing just south of the downtown area as they rolled through the city of Henderson very late this afternoon. And now we've got a partly cloudy sky, a mild evening at 69 degrees. Humidity is at 81% with a light west-southwest wind. Temperatures are now falling through the low 70s to upper 60s. We should wind up generally in the low 60s by daybreak tomorrow morning. There is severe weather well out to our west in the southern plains. Tornado watch is still hanging on there in the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma where there are some severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. But uh, yet another day of severe weather and yet another uh, event that we're missing out on. Certainly no complaints here, even though we've got a lot of rain and thunder in the forecast. No severe weather threats in sight at this point, though next week is looking a little more unstable than what we've been dealing with so far this week and for the upcoming weekend. And speaking of, here's an updated future tracker as we take you through the rest of the week and into the weekend. A partly cloudy, very warm Thursday, likely the warmest day of the year so far. Forecasting 88 for Evansville. The warmest we had been is 86. We've hit that over a few days during the month of April. We should easily get that, but still not too humid out there. And then tomorrow night, the scattered showers and thunder showers move in. Hopefully after all the ball games are over with, we're still dry at 8 p.m. By midnight, the leading edge is coming up from the southwest. And this leads to a wet start to our Friday. The good news with the new data coming in this evening is that much of the rain may fall in the morning on Friday. There has been some uncertainty whether we're going to see redevelopment Friday afternoon, but our model just steadily decreases the rain as we head through Friday morning and then through the afternoon. We begin to see a little bit of clearing here at 4 p.m., but no redevelopment of significance as we head into Friday evening. So it's the first, first Friday down at Haney's Corner in Evansville. Hopefully dry for that. A lot of outdoor activities with Derby weekend kicking in, and right now it looks uh, pretty good for late Friday afternoon and evening. Now on Saturday, mix of sun and clouds. We're going to have, it looks like, some scattered showers and thunder showers developing. 4 p.m. looks good for the Derby in Louisville. Nothing really uh, showing up on our model, at least at that particular time. Can't roll out a shower or a thunder shower. Our guidance brings in some weakening storms Saturday night from the west. Other models do develop a little activity during the afternoon. So partly cloudy overnight, mild lows of 59 to 63, partly cloudy and very warm tomorrow. Upper 80s, we're weather aware Friday, not for severe weather, but an 80% chance of rain. We wake up to it, then those showers and a few thunder showers gradually diminish. 77. Mix of sun and clouds for both weekend days. 55% chance Saturday looks more later in the afternoon and evening, down to 40% later Sunday, highest in the low 80s. So a decent weekend for the first in May. And then rain and thunder chances begin to increase once again the early part of next week. All right, thank you, Wayne.